So finally, after 20 years, 20 something years of living in Philadelphia, I got to be in Philadelphia. The identity night thing. Good. So when I got here, like 20 years ago, the identity thing was more kind of measured by the amount and the percentage of Native American blood that you had in. You go to a bar and you meet somebody, and they'll be like, I'm Cindy, and I am 168 Native American.
cool Bernardo's. And he turns around and he's like, see that guy over there with the construction <laughs> up there, Bernardo finally gets in because he finally gets his people to help him out. And he approaches me and he's very upset. And he's like, are you Bernardo? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, I need to buy the rights to your name. <laughs> I'm like, dude, that's just not going to fly. There's a lot of Bernardo, it's not going to work. And he's like, you know what, this thing's very upsetting because like, today was the luncheon of like the social network and you know, it's the Robert De Niro's party. And I tell him, you know what, I don't think you have a problem because if you look around, it's a lot of beautiful people, but I don't see any celebrities. And I don't see Robert De Niro anywhere. And he gets so upset. It's very important to him. He's like, no way. He realizes that this is a decoy party. So everybody that is there looks great, but nobody's really anybody. Including him, so he's feeling terrible. And he's just like really upset, and he just walks away, defeated. And I continue partying with my friend, Rick. And the only person, celebrity, that is there is uh, Gary Coleman. <laughs> and we were walking out of the party with my friend, we're getting back to Philadelphia to get on the bus. Gary Coleman comes up to us and he says, hey, how do I get on the list? 